So John Cotter sent you the tape? Yeah, obviously. You shouldn't be surprised. He's had it out for me since day one. Who's playing the victim now? Look, he was blackmailing me. You bribed him to sleep with Michelle so we'd break up. Or don't you remember that? And then you drugged me so I sleep with Lexi? Is it too late for an apology? You know what the sad thing is, Mom? Is that even if you'd say it, you wouldn't mean it. Lou, I don't know what to say. I, I was protecting you. You were controlling me. And there's a difference. I can't do this, Mom. I'm not going to play your games anymore. So what are you saying? I'm done. Bye. about me. I went to go see William and they wouldn't let me in the jail. Well, it's probably for the best given your condition. I have a right to see him. Nikki, look, I know it's frustrating and I'm sure that if I were in your shoes, I'd feel exactly the same way. Well, then why don't you do something to help and take me with you next time you go? William is in a very tenuous position here. I mean, tax evasion is not a joke. Why are you talking around the subject? I want you to take me to see him. Nikki, look, William is only allotted so many visitors. And frankly, there are more important people for him to be meeting with. More important than the mother of his child? More important as in his attorneys, please. William and I are having a baby. And I think that I deserve a little bit more respect. But you're not his wife, now are you? You didn't just say that. All right, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I already have plans for tomorrow, but as soon as I can set something up, I will let you know. Thank you, Sophia. I'm just extremely frustrated. I know, I know. Believe me, we all are. Get some rest. For the, uh, it's for the first half. Do you think you could just keep the meter running while I run inside and grab some papers? Yeah, sure. How long do you think you're gonna be? Oh, five minutes tops? I'll give you ten. Oh, my God, get out of here. Hmm? What are you talking about? Just get out of here. Go, go! Some kind of trouble or something? Yeah, just go! Here's the first shipment list. I can't believe we're turning out orders already. Yeah, well, if it weren't for IIT helping us out, we'd be cleaning out our desks right now. I know. But I'm still a little uncomfortable with the deal. What other choice did we have? I know, I'm just saying... Your mother. Yeah, who else? This one looks good. Two bedroom, two bath. Oh, wow, that's not bad. Uh, for the neighborhood, it's great. It's been so long since I've had my own bedroom. <laughs> I won't know what to do with myself. Well, maybe you can relax a little. Why don't we go look at it this afternoon? I don't know if I could break away. Come on, you gotta take lunch. And I don't have surgery until later in the day anyway. Okay. Do you know what surprises me about your mother trying to use John Cotter to break us up? That you weren't surprised she did it? That, and the fact that a woman that smart would think I'm interested in a sleazeball like John Cotter. 
Well, at least you were smart enough to cut your losses and get out when you did. It wasn't much of a choice. I can't even believe how Michael works with her. I wish you wouldn't have mentioned his name. Why? Because it gets worse. What happened? I walked in on him and my mom. Doing what? Getting dressed. After a photo shoot? Then what? Think about it, Michelle. No. <laughs> They're having sex? Yeah. Michael and Maria were having sex? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's disgusting. Yeah, I know. Think about how I feel. Makes me want to take a shower just thinking about it. <laughs> Would you stop it? And then they acted like I was crazy for having a problem with it. You should have been there. You should have seen it. I don't think you're crazy. It always comes back to this, doesn't it? You and me. Why do you say we have a drink later? I'd love that. Well, Judge, I know you're in a hurry, so let's get right down to it, shall we? Is Senator Harrison coming? He was the one that called me in on this deal. Things have changed. I don't have time to play games, Jeffrey. Is Chandler going to pay us to help him make bail or what? No, but I'm willing to pay you. What sort of dirt do they have on you? There's no dirt. Then what is it? Let's just say I want to accommodate Mr. Chandler and his mother. Mm, this is going to look suspicious. Harrison's going to think we're cutting him out of some kind of a deal. Do you let me worry about Harrison? Are you in or not? All right. I'm in. How much? 200 large. Look, I'm taking a risk here. Fine, but you need to act fast. Lower his bail to something reasonable. Half up front. Can a man get a drink around here? And you'll pick up the chair. your work. Thank you. <laughs> Are you up for today? Yeah, I'm um, very excited. Well, my assistants will get your clothes from the car, and we have a lounge over there for you to change in. Okay. <laughs> have fun. You have a moment? Sure. What is this? What do you mean? <sighs> you told me she cleaned up. She, she did clean up. Uh, she looks terrible. A shadow of her old self. I know, I know, I know. But look, when she's in wardrobe, when she's gone through hair and makeup... <laughs> you would need a sculpture to chisel away those bags. Lucien, don't be mean. Now, when she gets in front of that camera, you are going to see the same old Tanya. You will. And in case you've forgotten, we are paying you an awful lot of money for this gig. Friend, come by to say hi. A friend, yes. You, not so much. John, seriously, what do you need? I just wanted to see you. Gross. Right now? Can I tempt you with lunch? We're really busy. Can you excuse us for a second? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. That's cute for you to leave. We need to talk. Small office. Right. Nice space. What was that all about? I flirted with John that one time I needed to get into Maria's office. 
But to be honest, he's not too bad to look at. Okay, whatever you do on your own time is your personal business, but I wouldn't trust him. Michelle, I can handle John. 